just want to have a word about Strep A because, let's face it, um, parents sending their kids to school every day wondering whether or not they're going to come home with a deadly disease. Oh, well, we seem to have been there for the last few years, have we not? Except, of course, COVID was always a very low risk uh, to children. Strep A, though, is a much higher risk. Seven children now have died uh, from this disease. Absolutely terrifying for so many parents. But what is more terrifying is that the, many medics and scientists are saying that actually the outcome, the five times increase in the number of Strep A cases among children is likely to be a result of basically, well, closing down society for two years, closing down schools, children unable to play with their friends, unable to mix freely with family members for all that time. They've lost so much of their immunity. They're now far more at risk of many ordinary diseases than they ever were. And the even more terrifying thing is that we knew that before schools were closed. We knew that before lockdown. That was why schools were not supposed to be closed. Chris Whitty and Patrick Vallance said we shouldn't close schools for some of these very reasons, not just the impact on physical health, mental health, education, all of the above. There were good reasons to not close schools. And yet they did it anyway, just as they put masks on their children. According to Matt Hancock's new diaries, we learned that masks went on children in classrooms in England in 2020. Why? Well, uh, because Nicholas Sturgeon had done it in Scotland. And, well, they decided to go ahead as well, despite no physical evidence and scientific evidence that suggested it was necessary because of course it wasn't necessary and indeed it actually had negative harmful effects on children rather than benefiting them. So we do these policies, we do these things, we know the risks and yet our government ministers, our medics, our scientists do it anyway. What does that tell you? Does that tell you that we are safe in their hands when our children now are more at risk than they've ever been from ordinary childhood diseases because of a policy which we were told was spent to not just protect the NHS, but protect our families as well? One thing we must never, ever, ever do is forget what they did to us and what they did to our children. And we must never, ever forgive them until they actually stand up in front of us behind those podiums that we saw so often during the COVID crisis and say, we were wrong. We knew we were wrong and we did it anyway. And we're sorry and we will never do it again. And until the day they do that, never forgive and never forget.